As I mentioned earlier, I'm very happy to see you all at church today. I know many of you have been away for a while, so it's good to see you in church. Anybody visiting our church today who's not a member, would you stand that we might acknowledge your presence today? Any visitors, please stand. All right. Anybody having a birthday this week? This week is September. Anybody birthdays? All right. Anybody else? Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. And I think Miss Tanya and Mr. Doug share the same birthday, right? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. 35 plus, right? <laughs> I also want to acknowledge, uh, as you know, we're getting ready for confirmation. And so we see a number of our young people at church with their parents. And so it's great to see you at Mass. Father McConan and the catechist doing a great job. If you're getting confirmation soon, would you stand? We might acknowledge some of the students who are with us today who are on the road to confirmation. So stand up, young people. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's great. And so they meet every Sunday morning, and they have a wonderful class. You had donuts today, I heard. No one gave me a donut, but that's okay. But no, that's wonderful. And so you had a last week, I heard you had a, a pizza party with some painting. And so uh, it's a formation of our youth group. We're going to start with our confirmation kids and develop to our youth group. A much needed ministry here at St. Martin de Porres. So thank you so much to the parents, to Father, to all the catechists who are working, Ms. Streeter, Ms. Uh, Sheila Lee, other people who are involved. So thank you so much, Ms. Elsie. So thank you for keeping our kids preparing to receive that gift of the Holy Spirit. I also want to thank all those who uh, help with our wonderful school supply drive. It's always great to see us when we give. And so we want to always be a given church. And so, so many people I know with backpacks and all kinds of things for our young people to make sure they have what they need. Uh, I believe after Mass, we'll have a chance to go down the hall. Uh, Ms. Tish will be there to make sure um, anybody who needs a backpack, who has not get one yet, can get one with some school supplies in it and our blessings and our prayers as academic year begins. And we'll make sure our school gets some as well. You know, sometimes the envelope that says uh, school support, and so we, we send a check to our school to make sure our school has what they need. We have a new principal, new vice principal. We want to make sure that they have what they need in our school uh, to make it be the best year it can be. So thank you so much for your support in the school supply drive and also what you do to make young people uh, so important as a church. We make sure our young people have everything that they need. The bulletin, of course, has everything you need to know about the church, some good stuff there about voting, et cetera. So please take the bulletin home. It's also online. And please uh, read it and know what's happening. Some folks have asked me about how my classes are going. So they're, <laughs> they're going. They're going. So um, it's very humbling. You know, uh, my one professor, my class I'm taking on Tuesday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. with one break. Okay. Five to nine. Okay. It's statistics. Anybody who's ever done uh, doctoral work, you know what I'm talking about. Statistics is, is not my thing. So pray for me. And so the professor said, uh, thank you to all those who did so well in your first quiz. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And so uh, he said, but I want to give a chance to those who didn't do so well to please redo it. And guess who's on the redo list? So I had to redo it. So I got it right the second time, but all means and ratios, integers and stuff, not my gift, but I'm on the battlefield. Keep it up. On the battlefield. So. And many people have asked, like, you know, why are you doing this? And for one, because I always like new challenges in my life. I'm a person who believes in you always are meant to be a lifelong learner. Okay. But also, for me personally, it's always about service. It's never about just me, just having another degree on my wall. It's about what I can do to be a good example to, to all of our students and all the people in our community 
you never stop learning. You never stop learning. And someone sent me an email saying, you know what, Father, I went back to junior college, community college, to finish what was not finished. So I inspired somebody to get back in there and keep on keeping on. That's what it means to be a leader. It's not about you. It's always making somebody else's life a little bit better. Because when I get over to that bench, I want God to say to me, well done. Well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. And maybe a B in statistics. That'd be nice too. So <laughs> let's pray for our stand for our final blessing. And of course, today, opening season for the Eagles. And so go home, watch the game, and let's go, Eagles, all right? The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended, go in peace. Thanks be to God.